In 2000, the Securities and Exchange Commission adopted a regulation designed to prevent publicly traded corporations from sharing important information exclusively with preferred investors. The Court in Securities and Exchange Commission v. Siebel Systems Incorporated considered the reach of that regulation. Throughout April of 2003, Siebel Systems Chief Executive Officer Thomas Siebel publicly announced in conference calls to investors and investment advisors that, due to poor economic conditions, Siebel Systems' revenues would be down in the first quarter. But revenues were expected to improve in the second quarter. They'd make some deals worth over $1 million. And Siebel anticipated that the company would make some deals larger than $5 million. Thereafter, on April 30th, Chief Financial Officer Kenneth Goldman attended two private events for institutional investors. Goldman stated that the company's activity levels were, quote, good or better, unquote, that new deals were in the pipeline, and some of those deals were worth $5 million. Some who heard Goldman's comments immediately bought Siebel Systems stock. The Securities and Exchange Commission then sued Siebel Systems, alleging that Goldman's comments constituted violations of Regulation FD. Siebel moved to dismiss the complaint for failure to state a claim, contending that the statements were neither material nor non-public. 